Paul said, be careful what you put in your mind. What that really means is if I'm to have the mind of the Spirit, there are some things you don't need to watch. There are some things you don't need to listen to. You, you, you can't walk through life thinking that you can expose yourself to things that or unwholesome, unhealthy, immoral, and not be impacted by that. That's why pornography is so damaging. And it comes in so many forms. It's destroying lives and families and homes. It builds false expectations and Selfish in its orientation, and it leads to death. Death in relationships. Death in the, 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 the vibrant walk that we have with God. And it's not the only addiction. There are many of them out there. Years ago, I used to say that uh, it, porn is one of those interesting things that has actually become, in recent years, to, to the astonishment of many, it, it has become as much an issue with women as it is men. It's, it's never been that in the past. In the past, it's always been primarily a man's thing. It's becoming more and more a, a woman and a man thing. I, I used to say that, that year, years ago, romance novels were, was the woman's porn. Because it creates false expectations. It creates a fantasy world of of what marriage and relationships is, and it sets us up to fail. Paul said, listen, we got to be careful what we allow into our mind. Renew our mind. Be careful what you watch. Be careful what you read. 